conference play against Coastal Carolina. I've always said that I welcome the opportunity to play the new team because it feels almost as if it's a continuation of our preseason play. And I think that, that really eliminates a fair amount of anxiety for the players. Um, we had some, some real highs here in the game, and then we hit, some, we hit some rough patches there. And, you know, our team, again, has shown consistency now in two different games where we hit a rough patch and we figure out a way to gain stops and hit shots and, and secure the ball back after, you know, really struggling. And that's really what I appreciate. But if you take a look at the stat sheet, um, I don't think yet I've ever been a part of a Texas State team where our bench had 50 points to their bench having three. I mean, that, that to me is even more glaring than the fact that, you know, we, we did a much better job with our three-point shot, our offensive efficiency with, you know, 55 shots. Like, to me, the fact of the matter is, if your bench can bring you 50, that's, that's balance and that's exciting and that's a, lot, that's a lot of fun. And, you know, these two ladies are a big part of that for us to play. What's the, uh, what's the first thing you look at on the stat sheet? First thing I look on the stat sheet is always going to be rebounds. The second thing I look at is turnovers. What a, I know you stressed you know, transition offense. That was a big part of it today. You had, I think, 23 off the turnover and 12 off fast break points. How's that been building you know, over the past few games? I, I think it's more been built, it's, and you can ask them probably better than me, but really I want them to understand that if we do a great job defensively, I'd let them loose. They're allowed to shoot and score any time they want, but we have to commit defensively to getting stops to being disruptive and getting rebounds so we have those opportunities. And uh, actually, I just told him the other day, you know, Coach Dorsey is like my defensive coach. He's my defensive coordinator, my associate coach. She loves defense with stops, just being able to be disruptive. I told her as a former rebounder, I love getting stops for the fact that I can get the rebound out and go run and, and have opportunities to score in trans. And I think our players are now seeing that, the more film that we've watched, how that's now been able to turn into something positive. And they're doing a much better job of committing defensively and understanding the personnel as well and how to rebound. So, you mentioned the, the, the last few games where you built the lead and, and let a team kind of come back, but turnovers were a big part of that. You kind of limit that, that compared to the last few games. What did you see from that point in the game? Again, I really attribute it to our players doing a better job understanding by watching film, um, by them doing a better job practicing against each other with pressure, and us getting reps of understanding, okay, this is the type of pressure you're going to receive, now, where is the pass coming from? What are your options? And then being able to get lots of reps of that, that's also helped as well. And then, honestly, the success you have. Once you have some success, you're going to continue on that path until they're disruptive. And then the bench you mentioned at 50 points. Yeah, I still, you know, I still have to process that. But if you're going to take Caitlin Walla and you're going to take Tasha Levin and you have Aaron Peoples on your bench, that's a pretty awesome bench. I think that there would be a lot of coaches at our conference that would want to be able to pull, you know, players that have the know-how that they do. Um, off the bench at any time. Yeah, Caitlin, this was season high for you. What did, did you see out there mm -hmm. tonight that got you in such a groove? I, know, I think everyone knows I've been struggling quite a bit this season, and really it's just, um, you know, shooters just keep shooting. And I got confidence. My, my team kept on saying keep shooting. My, my teammates, like my coaches kept on saying keep shooting. So got, got in the gym and started falling for me. So, and then once I, I felt it, it was, just in the rhythm, everyone kept on hitting me. And then, Tasha, I know there were a few games there where you, some of the shots from three weren't falling tonight. That was going for you. It's a bit different. So. Yeah, um, I had like four games where I wasn't making any, but I think the last game in Texas, I finally got my shot back. And like Kate, like, shoot or shoot, and I just get in the gym every day because I know I'm going to have a rough, a rough patch, but I know I'm going to get it back. So. Both coming off, off the bench of Lee. What? Uh, mentality you guys have. I mean, to score 50 is quite a bit. Obviously, a glaring. Yeah, I mean, well, whenever we just get in, I just, I mean, me personally, I just get in and I just try to play the best I can with the minutes I'm going to get and just get defense. Like Coach said, like, it starts with defense. We have to get stops in order to run the trans, and trans is how we score a lot of our points, so. I mean, and that's also a great thing about this team is there can be different, I mean, we've had half